Hello, welcome to Chair Matt Yoga with Katie. Let's come to a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Good posture always. Shoulders on top of hips, knees on top of ankle. Chest proud, not pushing the stomach forward. Neutral spine. Really inhale the arms up above the head. Turn the palm up, exhale down. So deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath. Two more, inhale your arms up, reach for the sky, lengthening the spine. Exhale down, one last one, inhale your arms up, big, big stretch, lengthening the spine. Exhale down, hands on your thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Stretching out the neck next, you to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide support the head stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. We are holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center. Take a breath here. We're going to repeat on the other side. Here to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. You see the same hand, guys, about the head. If there's any stiffness in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center. Take an inhale and send exhale. Turn look the right shoulder. Go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, send exhale to the other side. No, your range of motion. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take a breath here. And we're going to lift the chin up, stretching the front of your neck. Slowly come back to center and we do chin to chest. We need tension at the back of your neck. Slowly, slowly come back up. Looking at the right armpit, slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle, looking down. Slowly come back to center. Now we're going to look at the other armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle, looking down. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take a breath here. Shoulder stretch, right arm up and cross, pull back. Creating resistance, chin is way from the body, eyes looking forward. Pull back. Slowly release, same arm up, we lengthen first, place the hand behind your back. Use that hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch, chin up looking forward. Slowly release, shake it out, repeat on the other side. I'm up and across, shoulder stretch first. Creating resistance, chin is way from the body, eyes looking forward. Pull back. Slowly release, same arm up, we the first, place the head behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch, chin up looking forward. If you can bind the hands behind your back, go ahead, bind the hands behind your back. But don't worry if you're not able to do this. And we are holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Hands on the shoulders, elbows in, elbows out. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Third, a pinch your shoulder blades, opening up on the heart chest. Improving your posture, oiling the shoulder joints. In the center position, we're going to go into a full circle. Try to draw the elbow closer and closer together. Change direction, go the other way, big, big circular motion. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Hands on your thighs, alternating shoulder roll, one up and one down. Make a movement if you're left. Be mindful not to hit the chair.
change direction, go in the other way, big, big circular motion. Feel free to go into a big uh, movement. Now, if this is too much for you, if you have shoulder issues and not able to raise your arm up, don't worry. Go back to smaller movements. You can always adjust, adapt, modify, change it up to suit your body type, your level, your ability, and your experiences. Slowly, slowly release, hands on your thighs. Inhale your arms up, lengthening. Exhale, we come to a side bend. Outside hand, grab a holding side wrist, chin is away from the body, eyes will keep up. Inhale, center lengthening. Exhale, we're going to go to the other side. Outside hand, grab a holding side wrist, chin is away from the body. Feel the length in the side of the body. Inhale, center lengthen. Exhale, twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh, back hand behind you. Slowly turn, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck as well. See if you can turn a little bit more with mid exhale breath. Massaging internal organs. Stretching our lower back muscles. Turning the neck too. Holding it here for three. Two. And one, slowly come back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly release. Repeat on the other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. We're going to keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back. See if you can turn a little bit more with the help of the front hand and your exhale breath. Slowly come back to center, don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly release, hands on the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Coming into a toss of turn, shoulder roll. So starting our small circle. Gradually do a deeper and deeper toss of turn. Feel free to move your shoulders. Warming up the spine. Change direction, go the other way. So starting our small circle and gradually do a deeper and deeper toss of turn. Slowly, slowly come back to center to release, setting up nice and tall. Take a couple of calming breath. Go pose up, palm facing knee, pull back. Another shoulder exercise. Opening up the lung, heart, chest. Improving your posture, oiling the shoulder joints. One arm up, the other arm down. Cactus arm, pull back. Five times, not overworking any particular part of the body. And switch, pull back. And switch, pull back. Switch, pull back. Last set, pull back. And this is the last one on this side, pull back. Slowly, slowly release, hands on your thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Take a couple of calming breath, wrist rotation, arm out, make your fist. 10 times one way, 10 times reverse. Be mindful for those who have carbo tunnel syndrome. Change direction. Tuck the elbow, close your body, forward, backwards, backing down. Thumb up, forward, backwards.
change light bulb, give it a very, very gentle twist. And we're gonna shake, shake, shake. Slowly, slowly release, hands on your thighs. Toes stretch, spread all your toes, taking the big toe down. Inhale to lift the heel high, high up. Exhale to lower the heel back down. So keep going at your breath and your pace. Strengthening the entire leg from the hip joint to your toes to support knee function, no muscle in the knees, only ligaments and tendons. Adding the arms, inhale your arms up above the head. Reach for the sky, up, up, up on your tippy toes. Exhale to lower the arm back down. Keep going at your breath and your pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Lengthening the spine, stretching out the back as well as strengthening the entire leg. Let's do another three. Two more. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on your thighs. Sitting up nice and tall here. Ankle stretch. Point and flex. Pumping blood back to your heart. Helping you with circulation. Energize the body. Once you have good blood circulation, it may improve your overall wellness. Increase your immunity level. Improve your digestion and sleep quality. One up and one down. So we're going to continue pumping, strengthening the ankle joint so it's not so easy as the man fall and twist your ankle. Side to side like a windshield wiper. Reduce wildness, increase flexibility, mobility in your ankle joint. And now we're going to a circular motion. Change direction, go the other way. Slowly, slowly come back to center, sitting up nice and tall. Take a couple of calming breath. Coming into a figure four, so opposite ankle, opposite thigh. If this is too high for you, place the foot next to your inner thighs. Both butts down, we're not lopsided one way or the other. Coming into a twist, opposite hand, opposite thigh, slowly turn. Overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck as well. See if you can turn a little bit more with your jigsaw breath. Continue to massage the internal organs, stretching our lower back muscles, turning the neck too, holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly bring the body back to the center, and I'm going to place the foot on the opposite thigh, hands on the knee, ready to stick on the meaty part, we never press on the knee joint or ankle joint to avoid injuries, so inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. By bending over, you're going to immediately feel the stretch in the same hip flexor as the bend knee. So inhale, prepare, exhale to fold. We are opening up the hip joint, hip flexor on this side, helping people to relieve sciatica condition. Holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly rise up and release. Repeat on the other side, figure four. So we'll do the twist first. Opposite hand, opposite thigh, slowly turn. Overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. 
So you can turn a little bit more with each exhale breath. But we're going to get for three, two, and one, slowly bring the body back to center. And I'm going to place the foot on the opposite thigh. Hands resting on the medium part. We never press on the knee joint or ankle joint. So inhale, prepare, exhale, lean. By leaning forward, you're going to immediately feel the stretch in the same hip flexor as the back knee. So inhale, prepare, exhale, to lean. Holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly rise up, two, release, very good, shake it up, loosen up, and we're going to do with releasing, so my left is your right, I do the right bridge, wrap your arms around the right knee, inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze, we're massaging organs on the right side as well as the sending cord. Be very gentle with your body, no sudden jerking motions. Let's do another three, two, and one big, big squeeze, draw the knee close to the chest, holding it here. Four, three, two, and one, slowly, slowly release. Repeat wind releasing on the other side, so wrap your arms around the other knee. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. We're massaging organs on the left side as well as descending cord. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Take a couple of calming breath. I'm just going to have a sip of water. So, Kind of count out the body. We're going to inhale to open up the body. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Palm up. Chin up. Coming into a cow. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Cool your body tight. Looking down into a cat. So we're going to keep going. Inhale, open up the body to cow. Exhale, round down to cat. Connecting your breath with your movement. Inhale, open to cow. Exhale, run down to cat. Can cows are helping with a relief back pain? Creating spaces between vertebrae. Expanding lung, heart, chest capacity, helping people with breathing related issues like asthma, allergies. Stimulating thyroid gland by doing chin up and chin down. Stretching the front of your neck to reduce turkey neck and double chin. Relieve tension at the back of your neck, creating spaces between C2 and C7. Two more, inhale, we open up to cow. Exhale, we run down to cat. Slowly, slowly, release. Very good, stay up nice and tall. 
Inhale, arms up, palm touch. Release index finger. We're going to drop the hands to the back of your head. Shoulder exercise, firming up your thigh by fit. Let's do another three, two, and one, slowly, slowly come back to center, the length of the spine, dropping the elbow side to side. If you're not able to interlace the finger, you can have the finger slightly apart. One last one. And slowly, slowly release. Very good. Shake it out. Make a fist. Inhale, shoulders up to your ears. Make it tight, tight, tight. Ah, sign it out to release. Again, inhale your shoulders up. Creating a lot of tension in the body. Exhale, let it go two more times. Inhale, shoulders up. Very tight here. Exhale, let it go two more times. Inhale your shoulders up. Creating a lot of tension in the body. Exhale, let it go. One last one. Inhale, shoulders up. And really shake it up. Take a couple of calming breath. We'll go back to the legs. So three exercises that will strengthen your knee. If you have knee pain, no muscle in the knees. So we'll go bouncy, bouncy. Adding the arms, clap, clap, tap, tap, clap, clap, tap, tap. Connecting your breath with your movement. Get the brain busy to control your movement. Breathing in and out through your nose. We never hold our breath. Two more sets. One last one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Take a couple of calming breath. Second one that help you with the knee is knee up, down, the other leg up, and down. You don't have to lift it up very high. So from the hip joint to your toes, we are strengthening the entire leg. Now keep the legs going. And when you go opposite hand, opposite leg, it's okay to have a slight toss or turn. Let's do two more sets. And one last one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. The third one. We're going to go knee up. Extend. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Slowly release. Knee up. Extend. Point the toes up to the ceiling and release. While not kicking, control your movement always. Nice and slow. Opposite arm, opposite legs. Pick your movement if you like. If you're not able to raise your arm up above the head, no problem. Two more set. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release. Very good. Shake it out. Um, so, small circle. Doesn't matter whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise. Two 
change direction. Change direction. Change direction. Change direction again. This is the last one on this side. Very good, slowly, slowly release. Take a breath here. Interlace the finger, press down, push the floor away. Middle, push. Up, push the sky away. Keep going at your breath and your pace. Continue to lengthen the spine, stretching out the back. And when we are at the top, we're going to come to another side bend. Outside hand, grab a hold inside wrist, chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Inhale, center lengthening, exhale, we're going to go to the other side. Outside hand, grab a hold inside wrist, chin is away from the body. Inhale, center and lengthen. Exhale, one more set. Release the bottom arm, top arm, see, press the moon. See if you can bend a little bit more on your side bend. Inhale, center and lengthen. Exhale, when you go to the other side, release the bottom arm, top arm, see, press the moon. Side body long. Slowly, slowly come back up, arm down with your side, shake it up. Opening up the hip joint, stretching the inner thighs, toes are pulling it out. You don't have to open up very big, just go to where you're comfortable, watch your hip joint. If you are very tight in the thighs, just be more mindful. In knees together, toes are pulling it in, squeeze. Pretend there's a pillow between your legs. Hands up. Open, close, draw the elbows and knees together. Make sure you can see your hands in front of you. We're not going beyond the shoulder range. No need to overstretch or overwork any particular part of the body. Take a break whenever you need. Have a sip of water and join us when you can. Two more. Slowly come back to center, bring the hands together. We're going to go up, open, and close. Keep going at your own breath and your own pace. Let's do two more, and one last one. Now keep the legs open, open shut. We're gonna come back to full pose arm. So when we open, we open, when we close, I'm down. So it's like a puppet here. So different moves for the legs and the shoulder, upper body. Let's do two more, and one last one. Slowly, slowly release. Now keep the legs open for a little bit. You can just make it smaller if you like. Coming into a diagonal stretch, not putting a whole lot of weight on the thigh, lengthening the side of your body, coming into a diagonal stretch.
lengthening aside your body. Big, big stretch. Two more. One last one. Slowly, slowly come back to center, bring the legs together, sitting up nice and tall. Strengthening the core abdominal muscles, only so we'll knee up, extend, open, close, and down. Whatever you do, don't lean back too much. If you need back support, place a firm cushion or pillow behind your back. So knee up, extend, open, close, and down. Up, extend, open. Close and down. Keep going at your own breath and your own pace. Two more. And one last one. Very good, slowly, slowly release. And from here, we will get ready to stand up and we'll go on the mat. Take water whenever you need, stay hydrated during the program. Hamstring stretch. So if popping the legs up on the chair is too high for you, you can do it on the floor, square the hip to the front, shift the weight to the standing leg, point this toe up to the ceiling, inhale your arms up to lengthen, exhale hinge forward, holding on to end part of the foot, the legs on the chair, not rounding the back or dropping the head, we're not doing head to knee, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward, neck is long, spine is straight, holding it here, for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly rise up to release, alternating bending your knees, mountain climbing, basically. Release the intention that you may have, and we will repeat on the other side. Pop the legs up on the chair, square the hip to the front, inhale your arms up to lengthen, exhale, hinging from the hips, leaning with the chest, fold forward. Back is long, spine is straight. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Bring the stomach a little bit closer. Holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly rise up to release. Alternating bending your knees, mountain climbing bicycle. Release the intention that you may have. Coming to quadricep stretch. So if you need your yoga strap, I'll do it, demonstrate with the strap on this side. So lift the foot on your strap. Adjust the length, shift the weight to a standing leg. Holding on to your chair, pick up your legs, not opening up the knees, knees together, kick the foot into your hand. Make sure it's a safe practice for you. For those who wish to challenge themselves, you can make it into a balanced pose, but you can always hold on to the chair again. Strengthening the standing leg and ankle, quarter up stretch, holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly release. Repeat on the other side. Quadricep stretch. Shift the weight to a standing leg. Holding on to the chair to set up. Grab a hold the other foot or ankles, knees together. Kick the foot into your hand. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Eyes looking at the floor or at the horizon. Something that doesn't move, that will help you to focus. 
strengthening the cordyceps, the entire leg. For prevention, holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly, release, alternating bending your knees, mountain climbing, bicycle. Release the attention that you may have. Shift the weight to one leg, doesn't matter which one. Outside hand on your waist for support. Forward bicycle. Five times. And reverse your bicycle legs. Five times. Slowly release. Alternating bending your knees, mountain climbing, bicycle. Release any tension that you may have. And we'll repeat on the other side. So we'll shift the weight to a standing leg, bicycle leg, forward. Change direction, backwards, bicycle. Slowly, slowly release, alternating, bending your knees, mountain climbing, bicycling. Release any tension that you may have. Now we're going to do something on the other leg. So shift the weight to one leg. Pause that hand on your waist. And just swing. We're not kicking, just swinging. Do sun up the hip joint. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly release. Alternating bending your knees. Mountain climbing, bicycling. Release any tension that you may have. And shift the weight to the other leg. Swing, not kicking. Just going to do a few rounds of this. So once again, strengthening the entire leg to support knee function. And slowly, slowly release. Alternating bending your knees, mountain climbing, bicycle. Release any tension that you may have. Slowly, slowly release. We're done with the chair. So we're going to move the chair aside. Coming into a standing. All 10 toes facing the front leg, side width. Coming into a crescent moon, inhale your arms up, lengthening. Exhale, we're bent towards the right side. Outside hand, grab hold the inside wrist, chins away from the body, eyes will keep up. So the standing version of crescent moon. Inhale, center lengthening. Exhale to the other side. Continue stimulating meridian point to acupuncture point in the side of the body. Now we inhale, center lengthening. Exhale to the right. Release the bottom arm. Top arm to crescent moon. Get a little bit deep in your side bend. Inhale, center lengthening. Exhale, we go to the other side. Release the bottom arm, top arm, suppress the moon. Get a little bit deeper in your side bend. Slowly, slowly come back up. I'm down by your side. Shake it out. Coming into a forward bend, or ten toes facing the front. Legs are hip width. Hands are waist for support. We're hinging from the hips, leading with the chest to fold forward. When your back is parallel to the floor, release the hands down. Then go here for a moment. Hip bones above ankle bones. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to your opposite elbows. Continue to lengthen the spine, stretching out the back. Opening up the hip joint. Let the blood go the other way for my wrist. Just be mindful that head is below heart, so if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. One more breath, getting ready to come up. And some ways for support. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up to standing. Let your blood pressure get adjusted. After you've come all the way up, back bend to come to, so interlace the finger behind. Now coast down and away from you, shine the chest up to the ceiling. Now pushing the hip forward, shoulders on top of hips. 
So we are not pushing and we're not sticking the butt out. Shoulders on our hips, good posture always. Expanding lung, heart, chest capacity, stimulating thyroid gland, stretching the front of your neck and relieve tension at the back of your neck. And slowly, slowly release, shake it out. And you're gonna come down to see it. Bring the sole of your feet together, wrap your hands around the ankle, sitting up nice and tall, rocking side to side. Fly like a butterfly, flap about 10 times, opening up the hip joint. Draw the heel close to you, grab a hold of big toe, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, leading with the chest. Bring the elbows on the outside of the shin, chin is away from the body. Neck is long, spine is straight, we're not dropping the head. Slowly, slowly come back up and we're going to windshield wiper, bend both knees, hands behind you. Finger facing the same way as your feet and we're going to drop the knees from one side to the other side. So let it fall wherever it falls, knees don't necessarily have to touch the ground, hips can come off, hip release, hip open up. When you're ready, you want to drop both knees to the right side, forming the 1990 degree. Make sure the butt stay down. And we'll look at the opposite side. So the stretch is here, put your side hip joint. So whatever you do, don't lean back too much. A little bit of discomfort, holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center, windshield wipe for a few times. And when you're ready, we're gonna drop both knee to the other side, from your 1990 degree, looking at the opposite side. A little bit of discomfort, holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center, straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Review your setting bones, point your toes up to the ceiling, hands by your side. Shoulders relaxed, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. And when you're ready, double leg forward bend. So inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, leading with the chest. Holding on to the end of the feet, the legs or release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale to prepare, exhale to fold. Bring the stomach a little bit closer. Slowly, slowly rise up, coming into a one leg forward bend, my left is your right, pulling the toes up to the ceiling, square the hip to our front, inhale your arms up to lengthen, exhale, now we come down from the hip joint, leading with the chest, holding on to inner part of the foot, the legs, or release the hands on either side, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward, neck is long, spine is straight.
Slowly, slowly rise up, coming into a seated twist, bring the band on the other side of the straight leg, opposite arm, opposite leg, draw the knee close to you, the other arm up and over, bring it directly behind the spine. But now, can you stop sign hand, prayer hands, any variation? So we need how to prepare, exhale to turn, turning the neck to, holding it here, for three. Two and one, slowly come back to center. Come to twist, bending the elbows, more room to come down as we stretch our lower back and oblique the side of the body. Slowly, slowly come back up and shake it out. And we're going to do one leg forward bend on the other side. Point the toes up to the ceiling, square the hip to the front. Inhale, your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward, grow longer. Holding on to any part of the foot, the legs will release the hands on either side. Inhale, prepare. Exhale to fold. Bring the stomach a little bit closer. Slowly, slowly come back up, coming into the seated twist, bring the bend on the other side of the straight leg. And if you like, you can bend the bottom leg, both butt down, both feet on the ground. If this is too tight, straighten out the bottom leg. So opposite arm, opposite leg, the other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. So we're going to keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck as well. One more breath. I'm going to slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist. Bending the elbows, more room to come down as we stretch our lower back and oblique the side of the body. Slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Coming into a wide leg. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale, your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, hinging from the hips, leading with the chest forward bend. Bending the elbows, small room to come down. So we're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale to fold. Bring the stomach a little bit closer. Slowly, slowly rise up, coming into a side bend. Right finger hooking on the right toes, so release the arm. Left arm up and all lengthen, and you can slowly bring the top arm over, forming a crescent, looking up. Feel the length in the side of the body. Slowly, slowly release and repeat on the other side. Bridge and stretch, lengthening, and you can slowly bring the top arm over, forming a crescent, looking up. Feel the length in the side of your body. Slowly, slowly come back up, and you're going to do a forward bend on this leg. So we fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale, your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, turn the body to the Left side, hinge forward, holding on to any part of the leg for the toe. Slowly, slowly curve back up and we're going to bring the legs together. Bounce it a few times. And we're going to come into the boat pose. So review your sitting bones, bend both knees, hands underneath the knee cap when you're ready, lift the feet up. Holding it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly, slowly release. And at a time when you're ready, 
So we're in the round, lift the feet up, you can hold on, you can let go, that's the next level. Holding it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Very good, slowly, slowly release. Uh, so now and we're going to slowly transition to lie down on our back. And both knees, your spine will automatically release, keeping the natural curve in the lower back. I'm down with your side, palm facing down. Chin to chest for all lying down poses. We will set ourselves up for the bridge pose. So knees are bent, two feet apart, but open up too much. Walk the heel, close your fingertips, press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, we lift the hip up, forming your bridge. Exhale to lower down, one word a bit at a time. So keep going at your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Engage your core abdomen muscle, your quadriceps and your glutes are firm. So in another words, pull your belly in towards the spine, your thighs and your butts are firm, but not to the point of cramping. When you come all the way up, raising the shoulder, wherever the weight's in, the head on it. Let's do another three, two more, and one. Slowly, slowly release everything down. Once you've come all the way down, straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. When you release it on the right side, wrap your arms around the right knee, draw it close to the chest or armpit. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the right side as well as ascending cold. Right hand on right knee using a gentle circular motion. Five times one way, five times three rows, massaging the right hip joint. Change direction, go the other way. From here, we're going to transition to spinal twist. So right foot on left thigh, using the left hand, gently guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Right arm on shoulder height. Shoulder, shoulder blade, upper body still on the mat. Turn it over to the right side of your neck and spin. Slowly, slowly release. Repeat on the other side when releasing. Grab your arms around the left knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Inhale, relax. Exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the right, left side, left side rather. Descending cone. From here we're going to transition. So we're going to do a few rounds of hip opener, hip release, circular motion. Coming into a spinal twist, left foot on right thigh, opposite hand, opposite thigh, slowly turn. Coming into a spinal twist, left arm shoulder height, palm facing down, left turn over the left side of your neck is fit. Stretch, strengthen, and tone the lower back muscles, keeping your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain. Slowly turn back to center, straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times, bend both knees, wrap your arms around your knees, rock from side to side, coming into a big circular motion if you like, covering a big area, massaging the lower back and sacrum, 
also helping you to relieve back pain. Change direction, go the other way, big, big circular motion. Slowly curl back to center, lift your feet up to the sky, come into a happy day. Bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpit, rocking side to side, massaging your entire spine and entire back. Opening up the hip joints, stretching the inner thighs. Slowly, slowly bring the legs together, arm down by your side, nice and slow of control. We're going to release the legs back down. On the mat. Once you come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Place the sole of your feet together. Let the default to form a diamond shape. I'm down by your side, palm facing down. Release the spine down, keeping the natural curve in your lower back. Let gravity does its job to open up the hip joint. Slowing down the heartbeat, getting ready for Shavasana. So when you're ready, you can have your legs apart as far as the mat. Let the feet fall naturally. Arms are six to eight inches away from the body. Turning the palm up to face the ceiling. Have a slight curve in your fingertips. Chin to chest. Close your eyes. Soften your face. Relax your jaws. Soften your teeth. Lower the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Scan your body and see if there's anywhere that's still holding on to tension. Let yourself go. Let it go of all your stress, worries, tension, anxiety, anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Focusing on your own breathing. When you inhale through your nose, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Staying very calm and relaxed here in the present moment in your own their world. Couple more breaths here. We're gonna slowly wake up the body by wiggling your fingers and your toes, rotating your ankles and your wrists. Gently turning your neck left and right. Bring the legs together, point your toes. Inhale your arms up and above the head. Full body stretch. Exhale and down by your side. One more time. Inhale your arms up above the head. Point your toes. Big, big stretch. Rib cage rising. Exhale and down by your side. Bend both knees. Raise the right arm. Roll over to the right side of the body, coming into a fetus position. Let your blood pressure get adjusted, and when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. To close the practice, bring your hands to heart center. Thank you very much for joining me, sharing the joy of yoga together, and letting me guide through the practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.